Pocket God Glitch Guide. This is Pocket God Glitch Guide 7.5. Now, I am sorry I wasn't able to, um, uh, make this glitch guide earlier. Just I was sick all week, and it's had a really bad week. I was able to make a trailer for a series I might be doing, and if you guys like it, yeah, sure, I'll definitely make it, because, you know, it's pretty fun. If any of you guys like the idea of that, like, if any of you ever watched um, Machinima, um, mainly, uh, what's it called, um, oh, hold on a sec, what, uh, matchmaking, then you'll know what I'm trying to go at. Um, okay, well, I just want to start with two glitches that I don't really know how to do. I really wanted to, um, show you guys how to do them, because they're really cool, but, alas, it's a very hard glitch, and, you know, kind of annoying to do, so... It's pretty much when you fool around with the hurricane, maybe switching off and on stuff, and eventually the fishing rod um, somehow gets behind the island. Now, again, I don't know how to do this. I'm really pissed off at that because it was a really cool glitch, but yeah. So another variant of this um, glitch is when the fishing rod gets stuck in the air. I think it has to do with the same thing, since the fishing rod's a little bit lower, and it happens to be behind the island. But, yeah, so, if any of you find more info on that, please tell me, and I'll make sure to mention your name and all of that stuff. All the good stuff. Um, okay, let's start out with the, the f actually, two glitches. Um, we need to switch islands. I'm not really sure if we need to switch islands or not, but I prefer to use this island. And we can kill our pygmy, because they can just be annoying. We turn on the fishing rod, and we go into cloud mode. Now, make sure you have the, um, the fishing rod thing, um, all there. You're going to want to do exactly what I do, and make sure that the fishing rod is turned on when the storm stops. We're going to create a hurricane. We're going to turn that thing off so we see the splash going in the sky. Then we turn it back on, and it starts to bounce. Those are two glitches. One glitch was, um, hold on a sec. It was called the Splash That Lived glitch. And the other one is the It's Alive glitch, the one that was bouncing. Um, okay, I would have put those as the same glitch, but you can do one or or by themselves. So, you know, I didn't really want to say that. Um, okay, on to the next glitch. Um, the... You can't escape it glitch. This one is one of the easiest ones here. Okay, um, make a lot of pygmies. Oh, and be warned that this has to do with a spoiler. If you haven't found it all already, that's kind of pathetic. Unless you already got, unless you just got the game, but, you know what, whatever, I'm just going to tell this. You should already know this anyway. Okay, you're going to want to do that. You know you like Pocket God, um, and then switch islands. Oh, I forgot to turn the music on. Oh, whatever. I'm going to keep music off so I can talk. Well, that was it. It's so you go to a different island. I was trying to use that in the last glide, but I used a different glitch instead where they're in the hurricane. So make sure to check out that glitch, too. It's pretty much the same thing except the hurricane. And then they become, like, slightly invisible. It's really cool. Um, okay. Um, the next glitch is the boomerang glitch. Uh, this one's pretty easy to do. You just pick up your pygmy, Jason in this case. Um, have him pick up the fishing rod. And you're going to want to poke Jason, or your pygmy, when he starts to pull in the fish. Oh, sorry. That did not work out for me. It did before. Um, hold on a second. Let me just make sure I'm doing this right. Um... Um, okay, that is all you need to do. I think we can do it with a statue. Sorry, I just got a little bit sidetracked. I'll try to make this a little bit quick. Uh, there. We can do this with a statue and other stuff too, like anything that interrupts him. It's just when he is pulling in the fish. And then I'll have the fishing rod bent, like a boomerang. That's why it's called the boomerang glitch. Let's get rid of him. Score. Um, okay, the next glitch is... The where did it go glitch. This one has to do with the haunted fishing rod glitch, which is the one where the fishing rod gets stuck in the air. 
and the uh, hidden cove glitch where it's behind the island. And also the other ones have to do with, you know, the hurricane and fishing rod, which it's kind of unreproducible, sadly, but we really wish it could be. Okay, we turn on the hurricane. Um, trick is we get into hurricane, we switch to, I prefer the meteor, pick up the meteor, drop it by um, switching to fishing rod, and then it should be gone, the fishing rod. But you still have the fish, so you can like play around with the fish, kind of, or just see it, I guess. But there's no fishing rod, so the pygmies won't pick it up or anything. Just kind of cool if you want to see a fish swimming in the background, I guess. Okay, let's start. It's going in the air. Now we have a certain amount of time. We switch to this, pick it up, and drop it by switching to... Damn it, it did not work. Well, you know, that was the glitch. I, I can't... This was happening before, too. A bunch of these glitches haven't been working out the way I wanted to. Um, that is the glitch. If I figure it out, like... If I figure out another way to do it, since I guess... Oh, actually, no. Here is another way to do it. Sorry. I, I might cut this out of the guide, or if not, I'm kind of too lazy. Okay, so what you want to do is um, do the uh, splash that lived glitch, and do not turn back on the fish, the fish until it stops. Okay, it stopped. We turn it back on. It's gone. Um, yes, I did check if it was in the air or behind the island. I have not seen anything. I have even checked up there, too, in the top, but there's nothing, so it just gets rid of it. Um, okay, thanks for watching this glitch guide. Oh, wait, I completely forgot. This I have a really cool glitch that I wanted to show you guys. Um, I completely forgot. Okay, we wanted to get them, This in my case, Jesse, into the bathroom. We turn it off, and voila, Jesse is now a midget. Well, not really a midget, sorry if I offended anyone. But never Jesse is now um, smaller. And I call this glitch the how's the weather up there glitch, you know, offending the normal pygmies. Yep, so you can see that Jesse is now smaller than all the other ones. I use that in um, my new series I talked about earlier, the You Know You Like Pocket God series um, for Sean, because Sean is a little bit shorter. No offense to Sean, but I just thought it was kind of comical and funny. And I might use that as, like, one of the themes of the, yeah, episode. Um, okay, I've been kind of going on too long. Um, uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. Make sure to follow me on Twitter. If any of you want to email me or anything, I'll definitely make an email for it from the Glitch Guides or any video, I guess. And, um... Make sure to check out Bassoon27, too. He's doing this cool subscriber a week thing where if you subscribe to him, he'll check out your videos, and if you have, like, the best videos of the week, then he will make a promo video for your um, account. He has, like, about 135 um, subscribers right now, so that's, like, another 130 for you. So definitely try that out. Um, it's been working for a little bit now. Um, oh, I, I, I forgot about the Melodica thing. Oh, and if you guys uh, checked out Melodica in my other vids and were wondering if you should get it, then um, definitely check it out because they just got a really cool new update that you can save everything. And yeah, you know what? I might make a. Um... Okay, you know what? Never mind. I'm starting to ramble on. Okay, thanks, guys. See you later. Bye.